everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nico. I'm a third year medical student. And in today's video, we are going to be setting up a whiteboard for under 30 bucks, hopefully here in the apartment. So I can study for my shelf exams and my step one exam just here at home. I usually go to the library because I like to write out the material on a board, but ain't nobody got time for that anymore. The libraries are closed. I just want to stay in my apartment and just have a nice, comfortable place to study in. So let's go head on over to Home Depot and try to get this whiteboard set up for under 20 bucks. The idea is to put the whiteboard on that wall over there. Um, I don't know how nice it's going to look, but it's the only wall I have available and I really do think it's going to help me um, study. So let's go get that done. Forget our mask because we are in a pandemic. Can't go anywhere without it. Um, say goodbye to the dog and let's go. All right, so we are on our way to Home Depot. Hopefully we can get this set up today. I have my shelf exam in two weeks. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, basically in your third year of med school, you work at the hospital and when you're done on that specific rotation, you take a standardized test called the shelf exam. So I have the neuro shelf in two weeks, so I need to start, well I've been studying, but I wanna just start doing old MBME practice exams and I wanna put all the wrong information that I get on a board. Um, I just feel like studying on a whiteboard is more interactive than just sitting down writing on a piece of paper. So let's try to get that set up today. We are arriving at the Home Depot. I am really praying that there's not a lot of people, which is wishful thinking. Um, I just don't want to wait in a huge line, especially with Corona. There's like a line to get inside sometimes, um, but hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, so I got my mask on and I am ready to get this whiteboard. I am praying that it doesn't take too long to do it because I'm not trying to spend my whole day at Home Depot. Okay guys, so you're gonna wanna find this thing right here. Decorative panel board, white panel board. Um, 13 by $13. I tried to find one that doesn't have all these chips and that are broken, so I tried to get one that's under all of this. And then we're gonna bring it to the cutting center where they're gonna cut it to whatever size you want. A lot easier if you get one of these carts right here so you can push it over now we just need to go buy something to stick it onto the wall you can either make a hole or you can depending if you want to like if you're renting or not I'm just gonna get very strong stickers to put behind it and then we can also we also want to go to the PVC section and put some borders around this so let's go through that so hopefully this and this can hold the board up if not I'll just come and buy some more or I can figure out the whole drilling a hole in the wall situation if I'm allowed to do that. Give this a better look, like a finishing look. We do want to put on uh, some type of like border around it so we can get that over here where it says molding. Okay, so the aisle that sells the, like the border for the, the whiteboard is actually closed because they're, I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're doing, but it's closed and they can't tell me when it's gonna open just because they're, I don't know, I think like restocking. So I'm just gonna go home, set this up, and then I'll put the order on at a later date just cause I need to get back and I'm very impatient, I'm a very impatient person so I just wanna get back home, get this set up, and I'll put the border another day. So this is a complete disaster. Basically, I tried to get my stuff in my car and it didn't work. I couldn't put down the seats. The board won't even fit in the trunk, so I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but luckily I have a friend who's going to come and she's going to bring over her Jeep and we can just put everything in the Jeep and then bring it back to my apartment. Um, but yeah, this was poor planning. But we got it on a budget. We got it on a budget. Let me show you guys. So the board itself was 13 something, right? I showed you guys. So like $14. And then the stickers were about $6 each. So. It really didn't come out to a lot, and I do want to buy the borders for the the whiteboard. So as you can see, it bends pretty easily. Um, so if you put those borders around there, it'll just protect the board, and um, it will just look nicer overall. Got the whiteboard here. So I actually wish I had cut it a foot down to make it more rectangular, as opposed to square. But let's see how how it looks once it's up. I wish I had bought in a few more. But we're gonna try to stick this on. Basically, I put 
one side um, sticking to the whiteboard and then the other side that's gonna stick to the wall. Okay guys, so we got the whiteboard set up. It works perfectly fine. It actually stuck to the wall, which I'm surprised about. All I have to do now is get the edges for, you know, for the border so it doesn't look so cheap. It was $13, but I think it's gonna be super helpful. Try it out. Let me know if you guys end up doing this in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.